You are now cordially invited to the Hellfire Club, a World Bricker Coup exclusive. Not really, though. Let's watch. Let my revenge begin. <laughs> Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we're looking at the Hellfire Club uh, SD Comic Con uh, 2020 because it didn't actually happen. Uh, Marvel Legend exclusive. Very happy to have this bad boy. Uh, for some of you who know, I uh, know me, I've been waiting on a Emma Frost and a Hellfire Club for a very long time. And I tell you what, this thing does not disappoint. We're going to get into this bad boy in just a moment. Let's get this thing opened. All right. So this will be a little bit more of a difficult review just because I have to be a little bit further away from the camera or from my my uh, table to get this full thing in here. I love the box cover. You open this thing up. Velcro there. Got the nice view. Uh, on one side, you have Emma and Donald Pierce. The other side, you have uh, Jean Grey and uh, Sebastian Shaw, the Hellfire Club. Then you've got that image there. Looks pretty decent. I like that. I dig it. I dig it. So you open this up. There's the figures all nicely done. I'm loving that. I digs. I digs. This drawing is nice. I feel like I need to put this up somewhere. Then there's a letter on the back that has some cool stuff on the inside. I'm not going to take that off. You guys have seen it from other channels. It's just a, it's a nice little letter of them acting like they're sending you something from the Hellfire Club. So that's cool. Definitely not throwing away this box. Um, I'm going to get these figures out of the packaging so you can really see them. But here's how they come in the packaging. There's a sling head, Jean Grey, Sebastian, Emma, and then we've got... Um, Donald Pierce. All right, so I'm gonna get these guys out of, out of the packaging and then we'll really get into the review. Okay, so we have them all out of the package. Let's start with my least favorite to my favorite. Okay, we'll start with Donald Pierce. Okay, never cared for this guy in the comics, but he is essential to the uh Hellfire Club, at least in, back in this time frame. Um, and I like the head, love it actually, you know, it looks like a Neho. Um, I love the deco, the, the, all this here, that looks really nice. The jacket's nice. These sleeves are just cuffs they added because this is a suited body. Um, so that's pretty neat how they did that. Um, it's very similar. If you've owned one suited person, you probably owned all of them, at least from here. Uh, but the bottom part is all new sculpt. I definitely like uh, the socks and the shoes. Look like you got some penny loafers on. Um, the coattails could have used a little bit of a, a cut in between. And it, it, the brown looks a little cheap in some areas. But um, I think this is definitely a nice figure. He has some weight to him too because of all the extra plastic that's involved with this guy. As you can see there. So I really... I really do like this. He also comes with a couple pair of hands. Um, one's this grabby hand that can hold a gun. It's metallic or metal. The other is this one. And they come off pretty easily, but let me just take one off. These cuffs make it a little difficult to grasp or get them out, but as you can see, if you've done it once before, you've done it, you know, a thousand times. So. I do like that. Don't know if I'll add both hands, but maybe I will. I do dig this very much. So Donald Pierce, that's pretty much it for him. Um, there are a couple guns. These came with a Deadpool a while ago. They were purple. and a, No, they were black on Deadpool and purple on Domino. So we've seen these before. And these can fit on either Donald P Pierce's uh, hands or Sebastian Shaw's. Um, Sebastian Shaw is the exact same figure, except his face is different in the colors. So I like his paint apps. 
Very clean. I was really worried about that. Um, again, I think the blue looks a little bit better than the brown, just as far as the color uh, is concerned. Uh, same legs and everything like that. Articulation is not that great, but it's not terrible. It's what you expect. Um, they do feel a little, not gummy, but they feel a little brittle. I guess the best word I can say. There's a little brittle right now. So don't like that feeling, especially with Sebastian. But um, I like the weightiness with him. Um, get close up of that noggin again. Looks good. And he can hold this Wolverine's uh, mask. So you can kind of create, recreate that whole scene. I don't have any Hellfire goons yet because they sold out before I can get any. But he can hold the mask rather well. Uh, as well as guns. This, and he comes with two fisted hands. So that's nice. Because I always remember Sebastian taking off his shirt and just going ham. I hope we get a shirtless Sebastian so he can just kind of go ham on people. And up here is my Hellfire Club. I'm sorry, the issue where we're running with nuts on Hellfire goons. So hopefully we get to have something like that eventually once I get those goons. Um, it also comes with this book, a Hellfire Club book. Um, and that's nice. I like that as well. I'll probably give this to Beast just so he can finally hold a book and look like he's reading something. Um, but it's nice. I wish they could have added a wash in here. But it's a nice accessory, okay? They're definitely giving you some bang for your buck thus far with all these accessories. Oh, and that's what I was going to show you. So um, they don't give you any guns. When I see these outfits, I think of like, you know, the olden days when people had these type of pistols. This is Deadpool's pistol. So let's see how this looks in his hand. I have a feeling this is going to look awesome. And this has not come with this figure. This is, again, from my uh, Pirate Deadpool. So look at that. That looks that looks pretty good, besides the fact that I can't get his finger in the trigger. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Let's go 10 paces and uh, fire. And you can do the same thing with uh, Donald Pierce over here. I've got another old school gun. This is the one from uh, Cobra Commander. So another use for these if you don't have it. And there we go. 20 paces. <laughs> 20 paces and fire, bro. <laughs> I like that. So that's pretty sweet. Again, these do not come with these figures. So it's just an extra accessories. All right. Moving on to the main event. Main event. Okay. We'll start with the Black Queen because Emma Frost is my is my gal. So. Let's we'll start with uh, Jean Grey. So the face. Can we talk about this face? Bruh. Man. Banging. Banging. Killed that face, man. Oh, it looks good. The hair is done up nice. The spike collar. Your girl. Woo. Your girl looking pretty bad. Got the uh, heel. So it's going to be hard as hell to stand her. But I like the cape. I like how it's flowing. Let me take this head off so we can see what we're working with. Oh, God, this feels risky. I'm not going to lie. That felt risky taking that head off. I hate doing that with some of these Marvel Legends. So look at that. So I won't be doing that too often. I just want to try the other helmet off, or the head on. But first, let's take this choker off and this cape so we can see what the body's working with. Um, so this is the body underneath. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Like the, the, oh, that's the top. Is that removable? I'll let you know. I like the back all out. Looking like she's getting ready to go to the club. Let's do a couple Usher songs. And let's put on Celine's head. Of course, this is not going on easily because it never does on camera. Good Lord. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this. I won't lie to you. You will not want to change these heads out too often. Um, man, is it tight. Her neck looks a little long right there. You know what? Honestly, I'm not really a fan of this face. 
Like, that's not the Selene to me. Selene's supposed to be banging. I mean, the body is, but yeah, I'm not really feeling the face. She looks kind of frumpy. Like she just passed gas and what she wasn't supposed to. So, yeah. Because she got yams. Mm, it's decent. It's decent. Okay. So, let's move on to the main event. All right. So, getting down to the last person. But first, I forgot to talk about this whip. We've seen this before with Black Cat. It looks dope. I like it. Moves very well. Then she has a couple of pairs of hands. She's got the open hands that we're so tired of seeing. She's got two graspy hands and two fist hands. So she can punch Cyclops for looking at Emma Frost. And then we've got Emma Frost. Okay. She comes with the a Magneto helmet, which I think is cool. I think it's dope. And, oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. So happy. We, now, we've seen this here before. This is from the the two-pack with, uh, who was it? The Professor? So, not Professor. The two-pack with, uh, gosh, what two-pack was that? No, it's a single pack. Emma Frost from Walgreens, Walgreens Exclusive. My eye on mine looks lazy. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it looks like it's a little lazy, so I might have to fix that. I don't know. I've got another pair without the makeup. Because this is this is the this is the the alternate universe Emma Frost that's all jacked up that I tried to make on my own. Using what you see what body that was. And this was a, a, an atrocious atrocity here. I tried to give her some some back there, but it was just bad. I don't know what I was doing. So that's what you had there before. But I, I do like this body. I think it's banging. Uh, let me try the other head because I'm not sure. I feel like my head has got some issues. Again, you can see the cape. I like the fur decal, the stone there. It looks all nice and clean. Mm, it's all right. Uh, let's see. But this is exactly the same as the last figure, um, as the Jean Grey. I do like that white. That is very clean. Very clean. Way better than mine. I mean, Hasbro, yo so. Hasbro, yo try. You know, it's, not, it's just, man, that's bad. So, <sighs> You know, sometimes you got to try, folks. Sometimes you got to try. Let's see the new, the old head on this body. Let's see if we like that. Now, my Emma Frost has a little bit of a smudge on her top, which I don't like. Why does that sit so high? Different skin tone, too? Let's take that off. Yeah, um, that's weird. I'm going to try that one more time because it looks like it's sitting extremely high. Yeah, the skin tones don't match. So, definitely going to be leaving that alone. I wonder if I should try the other face real quick. Let's try that. That doesn't look good either. It's too high. So, something's up with the head that don't work right with this. I think there is a slight change in the heads on the inside yeah it looks like one's deeper i could it could just be me but i want to switch it back because that's really bothering me yeah and that that just that seals the deal it is the head this one sits lower okay this one definitely sits lower than the others so that's a problem if you're wanting to switch some of the other heads out which is unfortunate because I do like the makeup on this one, but the skin tones don't match. Um, there's no, you know, makeup. Uh, this one's really nice too, but again, it just sits too ungodly high. So, yeah, but it's, it's I finally got an Emma Frost in my collection. It's not the Emma that I, uh, that I, it's not my favorite Emma, but we're getting closer and closer to it. We probably never will get it, but... I am glad to have this collection 
if I had to rate this, and they are a little bit gummy in the leg, so be aware of that. You see that? They're a little bit gummy. Um, Black Queen had the same issue. Well, there's some gumminess in the legs, but I think they're still a great set. If I had to rate this out of 10, I would give this set a 9. A 9. I think it's still a great set and for any X-Men Legends fan. But thanks for watching. Until next time, peace and hellfire grease.